your cat has ear mites, you're wondering, are there any new remedies you can try? Find out my top three in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. So I have Murray who has just woken up from a nap. <laughs> I've disguised the exam table with a soft, nice white blanket. Murray isn't fully awake. I'm hoping he's gonna be cool with today's video. So first, how do you know if your cat has ear mites? He or she is gonna be scratching his ears and he's gonna have all this excessive black debris in his ears. Murray, Murray has some pretty darn clean ears. So I have a picture up here and the section of the video shows you what it looks like, uh, the sort of debris that a cat has with ear mites. The next even easier thing to confirm it you're just taking a small swab of that debris with a Q-tip. Handy dandy little Q-tip here. Don't want you to go too far down the ear canal. You're just staying in that top part called the vertical ear canal. You're opening your cat's ear. You're going to seat it maybe like a quarter of an inch. You're going to you know, scoop out a bit of the debris out of the ear canal. And if Murray had, had ear mites, it would be all black. Similar to what you're seeing in this picture above. So what are your treatment options? Some of the new remedies you may be wondering? There's a new one that I've discovered. I'm gonna save it for the end. Really think you should be considering it. But let's start out with new remedy number one. Coming from the shelf comes an oil that you all heard of. It's a baby oil. It's actually, the basis of it is mineral oil. It also has in it though, is vitamin E. It is something that can be effective first for cleaning the ears if your cat has ear mites. So you just be putting, you know, I'll open up a bit of this oil so you can see it. You can put, there my, let's show them. You're gonna put the two or three drops and then start inside part of the ear into the ear canal. Rub the base of the ear really well to break up that debris, and then grab yourself a little Q-tip, like we got here, Murray. You're gonna grab yourself a little Q-tip, and then just scoop, and I'm just gonna use that to scoop the debris out of the ear. There, and you can do that with any oil. I mean, you can use olive oil, um, you can use the mineral oil, you can use the baby, the baby oil that we have here. Regardless, it's a great option to initially just clean the ear. So then as far as treating the ear, if you're gonna use the baby oil, I'd be putting three drops into each ear, the left and right ear, you know, dropping it right in here, right into that ear canal here. Rub the base of it really well so it works its way down. And you wanna be doing that twice a day, twice a day for seven days, stop for seven days and then repeat. So you're doing in total a 14 day treatment over a three week period. And that should be enough to cover the life cycle of ododectes, the ear mite, and kill all the larvae as they're slowly hatching from eggs and adults. And that should ultimately end the ear mite infestation. Baby oil, inexpensive. This cost me $3.29. And pretty darn safe. All right, Murray. The second option is with an oil that I've been actually using daily for increased energy and brain health. It is this, it's called MCT oil. MCT oil is primarily derived from coconut oil and coconut oil is one, anti-inflammatory, two, antibacterial, so it's gonna help those so inflamed, secondarily, sometimes infected ears, secondary to the mites. But third, the actual oil itself is once again, similar to the baby oil, it's gonna smother those mites and you're gonna kill them. So as they emerge from the eggs, as they go through the stage of larvae, nymph, and adult, it's gonna smother those, that stages of the mite life cycle and kill them. So once again, much a similar regimen. I'm just gonna show you, it's a little bit waterier. 
And the reason I'm choosing MCT oil over coconut oil is that the coconut oil I often find if it's a little bit cool, Murray, you don't, you don't want to have any, it just congeals right up. So here it is here, the MCT oil in a watery form. And I'm just gonna, would have you just use a syringe. Here's a little one cc syringe. There it is there, so. Here it is, the MCT oil here, drawn up into the syringe, you know, two or three drops in both ears. Doing that twice a day for seven days, stop for seven days and repeat. Good for Murray, good for your cat's ear mites, and potentially also good for you. So after you've treated your cat, you have a little bit of shot and improve your brain function. Mmm. And mm, tastes all right. So what would be remedy number three? The one I mentioned, like, oh, I really want to try it. So next time I have a cat with ear mites, it is the thing I'm going to use next. It is this sweet almond oil. It's oil from almonds. Completely natural, well eaten almonds. Guess what? You can get oil out of it and it can work really well for ear mites. So some of the things that I like about almond oil, it's 100% natural. It is very high in some other really beneficial fatty acids, but also high in vitamin E. It has wonderful antioxidant, which can also be helpful for these really sore inflamed ears. So the first big benefit, you've got the oil base. It's going to smother the ear mites. And you know, I just, it's pretty inexpensive. I think it's about $5 for this bottle. I mean, this is probably treat 50 cats for ear mites. And it also happens to be good for your skin. So it's got a little dropper on the end of it so you can gauge it. I'll just show you, not so it's Murray's ear. And I'd be putting two or three drops in both ears, kind of like this. I think I can get it out. One, oh, whoops, maybe it's a bit mutt. <laughs> two, there's a three, maybe a little mutt. Okay, something like that. If your cat happens to consume it, that's completely fine. So the next cat I get that happens to have ear mites, that's going to be the next, this is going to be it. The next thing I'm going to try is the almond oil. Uh, smells kind of nice. Okay. I'll do with some of these wrinkles too. Murray, you don't have to worry about wrinkles. There it is, my three new remedies for treating ear mites and cats. I encourage you guys to try one of the associated remedies as some of the other ones haven't worked for you. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks, Murray, for being so cooperative. He's been surprisingly cooperative. If you guys have seen any of the past videos, you aren't so crazy about it, but I think it helped to have you darn almost asleep. Oh, here, petty cat. Ah, and Murray likes the taste of the, is that the almond oil you like? Oh, kitty cat. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, see? And your cat can eat it, yum.